What's up everyone? I'm really excited to bring you this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to flash Burner Max onto a drive. Alright? Now, the special thing is, I'm also going to be showing you on my laptop. So that means for any of you guys out there using a laptop, this is going to be your chance to see what I do. Alright? Now check this out. I already... I already bought another one. This one has been flashed. This is a I has I has 124B. And um this is what you're gonna need. Uh you can go on to C4 Eva Speaks. Um from there you're gonna see what models you can use. There's only light-ons, there's six models that are available, and uh, you need to look at the numbers. You can only use the B model chipsets, okay? The way you tell is like I just showed you, you flip it over. On the other side, I has your numbers, dash, there's going to be two numbers. I have 04. Most of them are 04, okay? Uh, it really does not matter what two numbers you have. You just need to make sure it has I has and then whatever three numbers you bought for the model number. And it needs to have a B. Some models are A, some models are Y. The A and the Y models do not work from what I know. Nobody has used them. Only B models will work, okay? Now, um, also, I bought this whole connectivity kit right here. It looks a little messy, but um, I bought this off eBay. Um, free shipping for $6.95. Now, I think this is completely worth it, okay? So, for less than 7 bucks, I got this power brick, which does a uh, four-molex, four-prong molex adapter. So, it's an external um, power supply for a for, uh, molar thing. Uh, right here, got the molex to SATA power, and then here I got a SATA cable to USB, and I actually have the whole device in the back here. It does um, IDE and everything else. So yeah, um, that pretty much means, I haven't tried it for 360 uh, flashing yet, just because I just got it, and I haven't needed to flash a drive so far today, but um, anyways, uh, this also showing you, I mean, how to do it on a laptop of all things. And if you have a PC, it's the same thing, except you just open up your PC, plug it in. And the thing is, I don't have, like, the two PCs that are here, uh, my parents use mostly. So, yeah, it's just, I like using my laptop more because it's completely mine. The two other PCs here don't have the stuff that I need on them, you know? I do everything on this laptop. Anyways, enough about that. I'm going to show you what you need to do is you need to plug everything in, make sure the thing powers on, and, of course... Go over to your computer and make sure it is showing up. I have two disk drives showing up now. All right, now first off, you need to, like I said, confirm what you have. Once you hook everything up, you have it installed on there. You need to download the uh, iExtreme 1.0 uh, firmware for Burner Max. Let's go ahead and open that and in here. We're going to start. Right here you're going to have all these your firmware files for every model. And here's all the stuff. There's six models that are available. You can use the 124, 224, 324, 424, 524, and 624 models of iHaz. And they all have to be B. Alright? Now first off, what you can do to actually burn, you can use IMG burn. If people use image burn. Well, people say image burn. Oh no, I usually say IMG. Um... So yeah, it comes with that, you can install it, and just in case this tutorial does not suffice, there's also a very nice PDF tutorial in there. PDF files suck, they're annoying, but I extreme, uh, the, the extreme team and Team Executor and all, they always do an excellent job with their tutorials. Props to them. Anyways, what you're going to do here, going to go to your tools, and the first thing we want to do is back up our EE prom off of this drive, okay? So you open up EEPROM Utility, and actually, I just always like to do this first. Um, here. Go to this, and we're going to back it up twice, um, just because it can never hurt. Um, because first, we have the ALON firmware, we're going to update it to another firmware, and then we're going to put our flashed firmware on. So this is what we can do, this is going to be our original firmware, say backup EEPROM. Now, go to your desktop, and I'll just put right here, 
we'll just call it burner. And save that bin file. So you now have your EE prom backed up just in case you need it. Now here, go to Flash Utility and select your iHaz. Now click Read Flash. This is going to dump your actual firmware. This is the Alon firmware. And you can go to, oh, there it is, Burner. Save it. It'll take a little bit of time. Now there we go, we got our uh, flash dumped. So that is our original firmware. Now click right, selected the drive. Yes, go back here. And, burn max. Actually, hold on, we have to go to this first. Forgot about that. Okay, go to your firmware folder. Go to the folder that co corresponds for your drive, and run a loss.exe. This is going to upgrade upgrade your drive from whatever you had. I had Alon. It will uh, upgrade it from Alon to a loss. And just wait for this to open up. If it ever does. <laughs> there we go. So says this only supports your drive. Now make sure you remove any disks. This is the one rule I always have about updating any of my systems, my drives, anything like that. I never, ever, ever keep a disk in there. and I always double check that there's no disk in there unless it actually tells me, unless I need that disk, like if I'm updating off an update disk for the 360, or sometimes there are firmware updates that require you to just randomly have a movie in there. So let's continue. Now, right here, we pick our iHaz drive, and it says it will be updated from a lawn to a loss. There we go. Now we are flashing the official a loss firmware. And the first few steps I just did, they're really not required. You can just update straight to a loss, but I always like to back up my firmwares. Now when it says this, it's going to be spin cycling your drive. You are going to hear a few little noises. <sighs> your computer needs to be rebooted. So, we can go ahead and say later for that. Now, make sure it works. That's one thing about flashing. Always open up and open and close the drive. Because if it doesn't open or close and it's not uh, blinking or anything after you flash it, it's probably a bad flash. Now, right here, we are back in our flash utility for light on. And what we're going to do is, first, I always like to do this again. So now we have an A loss firmware drive. Back up your EE prom for ALOS. Your backup has been saved. Run flash utility and read your ALON flash. Well uh ALOS flash onto here. And after this it would not hurt to go into your folder and open it up. And just double check the files are in there. And I apologize for my voice uh, if it sounds any weirder. Um, I'm sick with a cold right now. So yeah. But uh, I just got all this stuff so I wanted to do everything. There we go. Flash image file saved. 
go ahead and exit out of that for now. Double check that your drive works. Go to your burner. Well, wherever you save the stuff. Make sure all the files are there. I see that they're all there, so I have two EE Prom backups and two Flash backups. Now let's open up Flash Utility again. Now we're actually going to flash it with our Burner Max firmware. Select your burner. Let's say right flash. Make sure everything is correct. And it's telling you how to recover your drive, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you can do all that stuff. Press yes. What we're going to do is we are going to look for the Burner Max firmware. So go to your Burner Max for, uh, folder. Ah, sorry. Firmware, go to whichever drive you have. And this one, it's going to be iHaz 124B A loss. MKM001, MKM003, final.bin. Open that. Last chance. We are going to be flashing it with that firmware. Click yes. And it is now writing our firmware. And you're going to hear your drive spin cycle. Now it says flash write complete. One more time. Open it up. There we go. Oops. It's been successfully flashed. So that's it. Exit out. Oh, if I didn't talk as much, that would have been less than 10 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. You just updated your drive to a Burner Max drive. So enjoy. Uh, start burning 100% XGD3 games. And uh, I really hope this helped you guys out. Like I said, I mean, check me out. I'm on a laptop. I just did this. And again, like I said, if you want this connectivity kit, you can get all this stuff for less than 10 bucks online, okay? It's really worth it. I promise you that. If you know how to utilize it, okay? Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Have a nice day.